Wiley Drake has organised a boots on the ground in Pensacola, Florida, between the 5th and the 10th of February. Uh, Dr. Holbein, we're going to be under the Red Roof Inn, under the blood of Jesus, from the 5th through the 10th. And I would encourage anyone to come and to be with us, to pray with us. We're going to be there from the 5th through the 10th of February. The address is 7340 Plantation Road, Pensacola, Florida, 32504. Come and join us. Be boots on the ground. Here's the address. If you live locally, you might want to be there. The new trial date is Monday the 2nd of March 2015, most likely Courthouse 1, North Palafox Street, Pensacola, Florida, and probably early in the morning. They keep moving the court date to stop people from organising. I know I'd want to be there if I lived locally, but I'm in England and it's a bit difficult for me to uh, to get there. But I've even considered the idea of uh, taking a flight and being on the ground on the 2nd of March 2015. Don't know if I can do that, but that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so the best place to get good information is 2peter3.com and freekenthoven.com links below um, if you go to a search engine and you type in freekenthoven.com I've just found this website to be the most responsive the quickest It's uh, I've got a slow internet connection and it just works uh, perfectly it's a cracking website for uh, all the latest information on Kent Hoven. We've got Kent Hoven's blog over here, which um, takes us to fast-moving information that I logged on last night, and then this is first thing in the morning, and there's three new stories that have emerged about Kent Hoven just overnight, so it's a fast-moving uh, case. Uh, I've yet to read this one, which um, I'm interested in. I'm interested in reading them them all. So you can click on the uh, the story to read more. Uh, and then you've got the option of leaving comments below the uh, below the source if you if you want to leave uh, comments on that. It's a great website to get active, to get updates, and to meet um, like-minded people. So uh, we've got the the blog there. There's other options, and also we now have the. Um, the petition with over 20,000 signatures on it we now have that petition back and at the time of making this video there's uh, 21,000 signatures on it and it's in the process of being uploaded updated to the website so if you do click on this to sign the petition it'll take you to a new temporary petition that had to be set up uh, here it is and it's currently got 683 signatures on it, and that's just in the last week. So that'll be added to the 21,000 that we have already, and uh, this this website will be updated with a full list shortly. We're starting to pick up chatter that Infowars has been given an embargo. Well, the, well, the word I'm hearing is embargoed. So obviously... And, and I think Peter let that slip out without meaning to, without meaning to. But he actually put it in writing and sent it out to a number of people that Kent's plight was embargoed. Uh, and meaning that he can do it on blogs, write about it on blogs, and do it on his private things. But as far as his ability to get on mainstream media and talk about Kent Hovind, if Kent Hovind is embargoed, that means that nobody's going to talk about him. So there's probably your answer to why InfoWars has not picked it up. It's probably an embargoed event that they're even being told, no, nope, you're not going to publish anything on that. Well, if, if I could just add to this, and this is only Rudy's opinion, and I'm going to maintain my Christian testimony, and I'm going to maintain the fact that I'm glorifying the Lord Jesus Christ, but if that's true, InfoWars is not talking about Kent Hovind because they've been told to from the top. I don't know that it is, but if that's true, I consider Alex Jones a traitor. And, uh, absolutely, and, and, absolutely. So the courts have bypassed the Constitution, making up bogus crimes to have a, an innocent man sentenced to life imprisonment 
Yet the biggest defender of the Constitution, Alex Jones, doesn't even cover the story? What are we to make of this? In an article titled Free Kent Hovind, imprisoned eight plus years, now facing new trial for bogus charges with a biased anti-Christian judge presiding, the author makes the case that the average prison sentence for for tax-related offences is 14 months. So even if you think Kent Hovind is guilty, he's served more than seven times the average already. Average being 14 months. He's done eight years And there's links to official statistics in this uh, article. It's unbelievable. Dr. Kent Hovind answers Bible questions from prison. And we're we're trying to include... Also, one one last thing. Uh, If people have Bible questions for Kent, I think it's good for Kent. And it's also good for us to capture, you know, his knowledge. Because we know what's going to happen in the future. So the people that have been in Bible questions, praise God for you. Send in more. We need more. Every time he calls, I'd like to... I'd like to post those by him, and I think it's good for him, and it's good for us to hear him. So let's continue that. If anybody has any Bible questions, I I strongly encourage you to send me those. He's answered one of my questions uh, just uh, a few days ago. So if you do have any Bible-related questions that you'd like to ask uh, Dr. Kent Hovind, then I guess leave them in the comments below and I'll notify Lone Star 1776 or sub to his channel, even better. Uh, subscribe to Lone Star 1776. Uh, links to his channel is uh, in the description below this video. There's only 28 days left. If we make some noise, there's a good chance that they might drop the charges and free Kent Hovind. If we don't make any noise, then an innocent man is going to jail for a hundred years. And then they might go after you as well for the same nonsense made up crimes that they've gone after Kent Hovind for. Thank you for watching this video. Click the screen to watch a previous video that will get you up to speed about Kent Hovind's predicament. I'm Tiger Dan 925 a prophecy addict from the UK. Incidentally, for those of you who don't know, Dan 925 stands for Daniel 9 verse 25. It's a phenomenal prophecy from the Old Testament. It's also a prophecy that Kent Hovind and others would be thrown in jail and we need to get him out. Freekenthovind.com 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 God bless you all, and remember, the answer to 1984 is 33 A.D.